here is the AI portable setup which is working from the batteries. Uh, the external monitor on which I'm uh, running this, uh, as you can see, local IP address on the machine itself, it uh, can be powered by the USB or, as I'm doing now, uh, it's uh, 12 volt or it's good enough to have even 9 volts to power up, which is easy to take out of these two batteries with the BMS in it. So this fully portable prototype of the AI in the pocket or AI in the go is uh, almost finished, let's say. Ha ha ha. And the spare batteries all charged if something. So, as you can hear, it doesn't make any noises because it's a passive uh, cooling in there, uh, somewhere there. However, I'm planning to place the uh, cooler in, into the box on which it will be installed, everything, because <laughs> the controller of the uh, or converter of the power supply to the Raspberry and it's for sure will be powering up the monitor external one and the cooler itself is heating quite a lot. Uh, the uh, Pi is not heating much because uh, I've used extremely big uh, well, let's say the cooler a passive one as you can see, it's a lot of copper in it. See? And this is the touch screen also. So I can... Uh, come on. Come on. Ah, okay. Two, two monitors making it crazy about the... Uh, where the mouse is but in any way it's uh is the touch screen and uh, i can manage whenever the only one monitor is connected uh, then uh, i'm using it in here but uh, uh, on the other side i can use the the simply the touch in the on the keyboard by the way the keyboard is uh, double way bluetooth and uh, the dongle uh, I choose this keyboard because uh, out of the box the machine is starting. It needs to have some uh, steering, let's say, keyboard and uh, touchpad or keyboard if without the GUI because it's starting by default without any uh, GUI and then I'm starting the desktop uh, whenever I need it. If I don't, it's simply command line. So this is the small overview of the Pocket AI project progress. Yeah, and, and yes, uh, for sure, this external monitor can be detached and uh, you can read it from this one. I've tried it already. Uh, let me let me minimize this window to the smaller size and then to move it to the first screen from the second one to the first yep then oh there is the mouse again two <laughs> uh, two monitors is uh, a bit heavy <laughs> so now I'm detaching the second one so we do have only one and now i can manage everything on this screen uh, by detaching it yeah. and the keyboard really nice one useful so really recommend for the one who wants to and now as you can see this setup become totally uh, 
portable. So. Yeah. And now we can control T. Yeah, control T. Or I missed. Okay, whatever. We can start the and make the power of ah, come on stop no no yeah power of and now the machine is turning off and we can turn off the power and turn off the power of the battery uh, of the keyboard sorry um, by the way I can power up the keyboard also from the uh, batteries without the internal battery because it, with the battery with its own battery it has quite a thick profile but in reality the keyboard is uh, less than centimeter in, in I, yeah up to this uh, button it, it, it's uh, soldered to the board and as you can see the uh, here maybe it's visible maybe not nah not visible here is the two halves halves of the box uh, right uh, after the key so, let's wrap up a um, couple of months ago I've uh, decided to try to make the uh, setup for having AI in the pocket and for now I have only this let's say solution but uh, hopefully <laughs> we'll we'll play more with uh, the uh, rebuilding it and uh, I'd like to have it in uh, the form factor of the pocket PC of uh, let's say from 90s when the micro laptop were simply placed to the pocket on the go you can use it etc and to be continued, 